Hey guys, so I've been working on a pretty big project in Minecraft, and it's uh, pretty dark outside right now, but it's because I wanted you to be able to see the lights. But it's a giant, uh, like a digital clock display, but only a single number. Um, basically over here, well right now it's set on the blank screen, but I'm just showing you right now. Uh, each of these switches you can turn on different segments. So right now I'm displaying a capital A because I just turned on all of them except for the bottom. And uh, this is basically what it started out as, just something simple like this, where you can turn them on and off. And then I got the idea to uh, set up switches that will turn on multiple displays, multiple segments. So there's a, this one I set up to display a J. And then I set up, I made a display, I set up displays uh, in the back behind this thing that displayed the number 0 through 9 and it's set up to a binary counter uh, it's pretty complicated. I'm going to make a video explaining how it works but basically you can see the binary display right there it uh, goes through the binary numbers and for some reason it counts backwards but when it reaches a certain combination uh, basically on represents a 1 and off would be 0 when it reaches certain combinations then it displays numbers and it'll go through, it'll go 0 through 9, and then it'll res restart. It'll go, it'll cycle. So I just turned it off. It, it was on automatic counting, and I just pause it, and then you can also use this button to increment it once. And I'm just going to demonstrate. It goes all the way th uh, 0 through 9. Yeah, so you can see the stuff in the back. Uh, this, it's huge. It's just gigantic. And uh, I'll walk around a little bit right after I'm done showing you this. But I'm going to make another video to explain how it works in more detail. So, there's the 9 and an automatic counting. It's going to restart. I just turned on the auto count and I'm going to go up here so you can see it better. And here it goes. You can see the binary. Yeah. And for some reason it counts backwards. I don't know why it counts backwards, but I, uh, if you know any binary, yeah, you can tell it's counting backwards, but you can also tell that that uh, when it's displaying a zero, that binary digit is actually a nine. Well, I originally set it up to, you know, the binary nine would be actually displaying a nine, but then when I found out that it's going to be counting backwards, which is weird, then I had to change those around so the binary numbers don't really match up the number that's being displayed. This little button here clears the display. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to try that again. Alright, I'm just going to have it display something so I can show you how it clears. Okay, when you push the clear button, alright, it basically turns all the binary torches on, so it's going to be like 16 or 15 binary digit, which is set up to display a blank screen. And that's when you uh, can mess with these levers over here. So, that's about it all the features I've added to it. I'll give you a little tour of it in the back. And it's kinda dark right now. I'll make the little uh, explanation video in the daytime so you can see what's going on. Okay, oh basically uh, everything that you're gonna see is made up of wires and torches. That's everything. And dirt, of course, like to build floating stuff. So torches, they basically work as inverters and you can use them to, as signal boosters and use them in logic gates uh, basically everything you see is made out of those two things wires and torches so over here are the different displays that I set up and these take in um, well basically one of these is turned on at a time and that's determined by this logic gate area you see all this stuff behind me that's floating I'm gonna get a better view go, go up high yeah, these wires just lead up to the display to power the segments. Okay, this this floating area is a logic area that takes in the binary number from the binary counter, and basically there are ten different logic gates, and uh, they all take in the binary uh, numbers at the same time, but only one of them will give a uh, will output true when in a certain combination. So it's kind of complicated, but I'll explain it. That's uh, the underground wiring to the binary display, and 
this is just the pulse generator. Right now it's not uh, hooked up. I mean, right now it's turned off, so it doesn't actually change anything. But that's how I get the pulses to count automatically. Basically an odd number of inverters in a loop, and it's in constant impossible state, and it generates a pulse. Yeah, over here, uh, something different. Just something that I built on the side. A little uh, snake display. Uh, yeah, I'll explain that again in another video, I guess. Unless someone can figure it out. But, alright, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.